I'm going to start with this phrase. Believe the mind or trust the experience. I don't remember where I saw it, but it deeply, it profoundly resonated with me. What a powerful statement. So don't rely on the mind. Trust the experience instead. Don't take my words at face value, so to speak. Instead, trust what lies beyond them. Trust the reflection of my own presence in yours, which we share. <laughs> and this shared presence is our essence. But sometimes we need somehow a mirror to recognize it seemingly. At some point I realized that I didn't exist. And this is what I profoundly desired. It reminds me of something a friend once said. Hey Tony, sometimes I'm so frustrated with myself that it feels like I want to erase my own identity. Think about this. I want to erase my own identity. Meaning, it signifies I want to erase this sense of personhood. And we all in one way or another want to forget our personal story, our personal narrative, the, the story of me, because it feels burdensome to carry one story, which, despite being just a mental construct, it continually affects our present experience. Because we define ourselves as entities, trapped within our own construct. We have somehow created a prison, so to speak, that confines us, and we don't know how to escape it. Yet, you hold the key, and that's simple. That key is to recognize that we are not this entity, that we are not all these mechanism, all these conditioned mechanisms, all these incessant thoughts, all these false beliefs about yourself. And especially to realize that no one has ever been enclosed. It was all a mirage, so to speak, a mirage. Something the limited mind has been constructing. Nonetheless, this can suddenly be perceived. All these conditioned mechanisms, all these thoughts, they can be perceived. And whatever is perceivable cannot be that which perceives it. When you are free of definitions, which are limitations for you, because we are proud of our definition, the ego is proud of its definition. Like, <laughs> it makes me think about this tattoo that I had like 14 years ago. Be proud of the life you lead. This one. <laughs> it was driven by ego. You know, at this time. <laughs> and it signifies nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me laugh, it makes me laugh. So it was led by ego. So, you observe that they are restrictive. All these definitions are restrictive. But without them, you are, you exist right now. So you don't need all these definitions <laughs> that constantly change. They constantly change. So this is not you. What you are in essence, what you are fundamentally doesn't change. It's permanent. 
And to recognize your true essence, a potent practice is to make each breath conscious. You can try it while watching this video. This is very simple. You come back to the source. This is what I used to do the most during my path towards awakening. Because this is so powerful. You start becoming more conscious, I would say. Even if a thought arises, it's okay, you observe and then you come back to breathing. Simply breathing. Without any personal entities. Simply breathing. There is no you that is doing this practice. There is simply breathing. And this technique quickly opens you up to this infinite dimension and you will find that awareness relaxes and expands simply by focusing on, on your breath. Because most of, us, most of us are not even conscious of our own existence, of this aliveness within us. And this practice, if you want, will stop focusing awareness towards an object. It will stop focusing um, awareness towards inner manifestations and it will relax it. At some point you will experience this underlying emptiness. And this is something you can do anytime, anywhere. While watching this, while watching anything, while cooking, while driving, while speaking to another person. So even if a thought, if a thought arises, you come back to breathing. And you can feel that something is opening up, something is relaxing. <laughs> Try to abide as this. Relaxed awareness, aware of itself. From my point of view, I think this is the most potent practice to experience your, your, your true being, you know. Because you stop focusing awareness towards an object. And awareness return to its source, to yourself, your true self. So come back to breathing, without a you. They were simply breathing. And by doing this practice, you will become more conscious. And this is what we desire the most. We want to be conscious. Because we are unconscious. When we, we live from the perspective of Maya, with this veil, from the perspective of ego, you know, veil, veil by this incessant thought, with this, ego <laughs> so we want to be conscious and i acknowledge that initially it requires an effort to be conscious it requires an effort to be conscious of each breath but eventually we become effortless because we've been living with this with maya you know with the um, the illusion and at some point, you will experience your true, your true being. It remember, <laughs> no, I remember of something that happened like one year and a half when I was on the on my spiritual path. Uh, <laughs> I was walking and suddenly I experienced this this peace, this inner peace for the very first time without doing a spiritual practice. And I was like, 
what's going on? I don't meditate and I feel this inner peace. And since then, I understand that we, we are this inner peace. And we don't need to meditate to feel it because this is our this is our our true essence. You know what I mean? <laughs> Be, because before that, uh, uh, I was thinking that we can only feel that peace during meditation. You know. <laughs> so voila, voila, voila. But I encourage you to follow your heart. And if you hurt, tells you to do do this practice, do it. If not, don't do it. <laughs> I wish you a beautiful day, a beautiful night, a beautiful evening, and uh, much love. <laughs>